Welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Stella and today we're going to be talking about 10 things that I wish I knew before coming to Babson College as a freshman. So the reason why I decided to do this as my first video is because there were a lot of other videos for bigger schools that had the same subject line but when I looked it up for Babson before coming here I couldn't really find anything so I thought why not start off my channel um, with something that could potentially help anyone coming to Babson College or looking at Babson. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I wanted to talk about was food, which I personally think is very important on college campus. Babson has the Trim Dining Hall and then also Reynolds Cafe or Ray's. Um, both are pretty good options. Ray's, in my opinion, is a lot better than Trim. Um, Ray's has like sandwiches and they had acai bowls last semester, which was so nice but I spent literally all my money. You don't have to save a ton of money but definitely leave something at the end. You'll definitely thank yourself later. Um, what I did my first semester is I was scared to spend my dining dollars so at the end of finals week I bought like so many sandwiches like more than I could eat just to spend the money so don't do what I did but definitely save some money so you can treat yourself during the hard week of finals. Another tip and trick for eating is go to Olin. So Olin is a college that's right next to Babson and it has such good food at the dining hall most of the time. Um, you get 20 swipes. Some people don't know that you do get 20 swipes, which is a really large amount, but use them all up. I love going there with all my friends. It's so beautiful. I asked my friends if they had any tips and tricks and a lot of them said, to go to Olin Cafe, which is in one of the classroom buildings, um, and it's super good. It has, I went in the summer and it had like pasta, but usually it has like salads and breakfast stuff. Also, um, a lot of my friends are obsessed with this place that's kind of connected to Trim, and it's called Rogers Pub. And um, even though it sounds like it's like a bar or something, it has really good food. Use your dining dollars again or regular money. Um, I love it. My friends are obsessed with it. Don't spend all your money there because that's what I did at the beginning, but definitely treat yourself once in a while. My next topic is housing. Um, something I really looked up a ton before coming here was what dorms were nice, what were the good ones, what did you want, what did you not want. Um, I got put in one of the ones that you didn't want, but I think a huge misconception is that um, Maddox and Park Manor North are the bad dorms. I think that they installed AC for the upcoming year, so if you're a class of 2023 and beyond, wonderful, you have AC, we did not. Um, however, the room shape for me was super important. I actually would not want to live anywhere but Park Manor North or Matos. Um, Park Manor North is where I lived for my whole freshman year, and the rooms are super square and big. Um, they have carpet, which kind of stinks, but the room size is so important to me. So I had a lot of friends that were in Park Manor West, which is like the nice one, everyone wanted it. Um, but the rooms are like this thin. Um, same with South, most rooms are this thin, although I know there are like much bigger rooms if you're in a triple or quad, but um, definitely don't get discouraged if you're in Park Manor North or Matos. Um, Matos has huge rooms. I know that for a fact my friends lived there and their room was probably the biggest out of any of my friends. Um, all dorms, all freshman dorms at Babson are super nice comparatively to other schools, so don't be discouraged about what you get. Also, another thing I wanted to mention about housing is if you're super unhappy with your housing after first semester, I believe that you can apply to special housing dorms. Um, for example, the Towers in Van Winkle, so like Code, Create, a bunch of different... Um, I can do another video on this because I don't want to go too in depth in it, but um, there are other housing options that are super nice that you can switch into, I think relatively easily. Um, also like given one towers I know you can apply into be. So if you are having a horrible experience, um, you can definitely switch dorms and you're not stuck. Babson is super nice in that they give you your own laptop. Um, You'll need like software like Minitab um, for QTM, which is a statistics type of data analytics class. Um, so you don't need to bring a laptop. A ton of kids 
use these laptops. It's not like a weird stigma that you don't have your own laptop. Everyone uses them. Um, you have to because they have certain software that you can't otherwise really get for free. Um, definitely take advantage. Babson has so many things that they offer for free. I know I'm taking like little design classes right now for free that Babson offers. So definitely take advantage and do your research about what Babson has to offer. One thing I know a lot of kids that have struggled um, have dealt with is kind of not getting discouraged about the super ambitious vibe that Babson has. Um, because it's a business school and it's super competitive and small, um, a lot of kids think that you have to do three million things and sign up for every single club and take every single class or whatever and uh, that's how to succeed at Babson. It's actually not. Um, one thing I learned after my first semester was to make me time. It is so important to have time that you can just spend with yourself to collect your thoughts. Um, I got super overwhelmed my first semester because I did so many things and I felt like I had no time to breathe and I think a lot of kids felt this way as well. So I'm not saying don't sign up for clubs or don't sign up for sports, but definitely manage your time in a way that you have time for yourself as well as doing a ton of other activities. In terms of attire, this might seem um, relatively obvious to some, but I personally didn't know this one coming to Babson really is buy business casual clothing. I did not realize how much you would use this clothing and in high school I would barely wear um, anything in regards to like a nice dress or business pants to class. Um, I would only wear it to like a debate conference or something but at Babson it is normal for people to wear business attire all the time. You take this first year class called FME and in that class, you are wearing business casual so much. Um, I definitely borrowed my friend's clothes, my friends definitely borrowed mine, so definitely come prepared in that. Don't go crazy, but definitely be prepared um, to dress nice a lot of the time, which was very hard for me. I'm actually from Wellesley, Massachusetts, um, which is where Babson is located, so um, I'm pretty familiar with the weather at Babson. Basically, it snows a lot in Mass, and um, in the winter, it gets so cold, you need to bring a heavy winter jacket. And I mean, I wear winter boots all the time. Probably not the most fashionable thing, but I wear them all the time. Um, it is not fun if you don't have a heavy winter jacket. This is somewhat of a very random point that I wanted to make, but it connects to going out into Wellesley and into Boston a lot. Um, as someone who is from here, the ice cream at Babson is not great, to say the least, and if you want to get good ice cream, go to either Truly Yogurts or JP Licks. I personally love Truly Yogurts. It's super cheap, so good, and the people are so nice that work there, and it's like five minutes from Babson, so venture out. Professors at Babson change your GPA, and as much as I don't want to admit this, I can talk about this in another video because I think it's super important. Go on Rate My Professor and do your research. Know who you're getting, and do it before you're signing up for classes, not after once you've realized that all of the professors are taken. Babson has this thing where they have a to be determined teacher and I and a lot of my friends had horrible experiences with this. I'm not gonna like name names, but it was not a good experience. Um, however, my some of my other friends have had amazing experiences. So be a little bit cautious of to be determined. Um, this might be biased because I had a bad experience, but just know what you're getting and know that it might not be the best professor you could want. Also, another tip um, for signing up for classes is if you get last pick or pretty bad pick, it's based on last name, I believe, use class track. Um, basically, it's kind of like you can choose a class even though it's completely full. And if someone drops out, then you get an email and then you can join it. It's pretty hard to get into. I don't think I've ever used it um but i know that a lot of people have gone into really good classes having last pick with class tracks so definitely do it even though you think that you might not get it because who knows because babson is a tiny school um the campus is also pretty small um i and a lot of my friends especially me though um first semester i did not go to boston at all um, I did not even like leave Wellesley that much, which for me made me feel super suffocated. I, in high school, went to Boston all the time, almost every single weekend. 
um, just like adventuring, getting to know like different places of the city. It's a beautiful city and you should definitely take advantage of it here. Um, Babson, when you come, will feel like you're doing a million things that have no time, but again, make the time to leave campus so you're not feeling like your whole world is Babson and that you can't leave. This is probably my favorite and most important point that I wanted to make in the video. Babson is a super unique type of student body and it, for me personally, was the absolute perfect choice for me. I think everyone is so ambitious and cool and when I'm in Babson, I just feel like I wanna do and can accomplish a thousand different things. However, I was kind of upset watching a lot of um, college YouTube videos because a lot of people mentioned that the friends that you make in the first day of school will just leave and that you'll never be friends with them. Um, and I think this is a huge misconception. I personally, and I know I'm lucky because of this, but the friends that I made the first day of school are still my closest friends now. A lot of people have left or I've moved on from. Um, that I'm not saying that that's not a reality, but it is completely realistic to make really good friends at the beginning of the year and keep them. So don't get discouraged and think that the people you meet at the beginning of the year will not be your friends later because that's not true. That was my 10 things that I wish I knew before a freshman year at Babson College. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you have any sort of things you're wondering about Babson. I can definitely make videos. Um, I know that there isn't much out there about Babson, um, so I definitely want to help anyone I can. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!